Avoid difficulty, we retain. So, yung iba, aita na na dialect, tapos dun sa, sa passage po, pero yung kaharian na just we retain it. So, yun na nga po. And I observe na when they heard, kahit man lang yung gospel reading, sa salita nila, iba, parang nagkaroon ng spar, parang feeling na mga aita bumaba sa kanila ang Diyos. Kaya kanina po, relate na relate ako dun sa kinial po ba yun? Naalala ko po talaga yung mga aita. Kasi, yun nga, akong gino. Kasi ang alakala nila, yung pinatubo ay Diyos na nagalit sa kanila, kaya sumabo. Kaya nung time na yon nun pa lang nila nakilala ang Diyos. So, para sa akin, hindi ito Pinoy version, kundi Aita version. Pero, ang tanong ko po, if I'll be given a chance again, halimbawa, para maging um, close to their heart yung, yung celebration ng Eucharist, would you suggest na, kahit hindi kami authorized po, Pwede pa rin po namin paggawin yun na mag-translate para lang mas maintindihan namin nila. Although ngayon, 25 years na po ang pastor mission ng Shena College doon. At malaki na yung pinagbago. Marami na mga batang nag-alas. Salamat po. Thank you. So, bali, ang tanong mo, uh, Rachel, Rachel, yung uh, kung magta-translate, no? kung, kung pwede yung gano'n yung ginawa ninyo. Well, ang um, impression ko, yung inyong halo-halo, that is heterogeneous language as a matter of fact. All you need to do, heterogeneous kasi pinaghahalo-halo nila. Pero syempre, uh, offhand, hindi ko alam yung sitwasyon mahirap. Pero pwede yun, kung sa pwede, you, you know, you're all, when you're translating, you are first bound to your source. And then, go to your receptor. How will the receptor understand it? Okay? So, yun ang importanteng bahagi doon. And then, uh, if then your question, uh, if you if you will do it for the Aita, can you, will you do it something like the Pinoy version? So many things I cannot simply say yes, because uh, because of those requirements of a translation, I cannot. Uh, I have to know what is what are the uh, what is the situation in your case, because we take Bible translation seriously. If you mistranslate. They will misunderstand the word of God, and to us, we cannot do that. That is why understand the text very carefully, and then you translate, uh, and making sure that you have the, the you know, in my definition, uh, equivalence. Okay, there has to be equivalence. So, oh, Bible translation is a very serious matter. So we we cannot take it lightly. Because we have a responsibility to our audience. If that is really what the Word of God is saying, and then you trans you communicate it correctly. But you have a very, uh, uh, very uh, um, challenging situation there. But try to. Uh, but there are magindi. Uh, I think there is a. a I, 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 I joined one group. And then Magindi, and then these are the Aita in Pampanga, yes. and uh, they are. Uh, uh, there is a, they. I I took part in a workshop, and they have a primer. They already have a primer, so I don't know. Maybe I can give you information later about that. This is with the Summer Institute of Linguistics and the <coughs> Translators Association of the Philippines. They have a project there among the Aitas in Pampanga. Okay. okay. Thank you very much for all your questions. Uh, you are well thought of. And now we have called on Mr. Raywell Rito Senio to do the honor of awarding the certificate for the speaker. Let me read a citation. De La Salle University, College of Liberal Arts. Theology and Religious Education Department, in cooperation with the Religious Educators Association of the Philippines, awards this Certificate of Appreciation to Dr. Anisia H. Del Coro for her invaluable contribution as speaker in the Summer Institute of Sacred Scriptures 2017 with the theme, The Bible and the Church, the Parish and the Catholic Reformation. Given the sixth day of May 2017 at the Yuchenko Seminar Rooms, 407 to 409, De La Salle University, Manila, Philippines. Signed uh, by yours truly and 
also signed by our Trent Chairperson, Dr. Rito V. Barry. Let's give Dr. Annie a round of applause. May we also call Dr. Nora, Dr. Nora G. Becerro. Give her our uh, appreciation, certificate of appreciation for giving us updates about the TV Bible Society. Let's give Dr. Nora a uh, round of applause. We may now have our lunch break. Have a good lunch. See you at 1 o'clock p.m. for the continuation of the lectures. <laughs>